Last week, Frank and I decided that we were going to cold call real estate agents to prove to all you loan officers that it's not that hard to get agents into your listing booster account. Now, we actually called on behalf of somebody else, making it even harder, yeah. to a different city, even harder, right. even in a different state, even, even harder, right. and we never misrepresented who we were. Right. We were calling on behalf of somebody else. Never said we owned listing booster, okay? Right. We ended up getting uh, one sale, a transaction out of it at the very oh, end. Oh, that's right. There was a transaction, two or three appointments. Two or I three appointments and more information to be sent to right. somebody else. And this is all yeah. in about a half hour of calling. Right. Okay. So now, uh, at the end of it, we had Janine Janae, uh, who we challenged her to go live on Facebook and bear yourself to the world. And let's see how well you can cold call and actually cold call the agents live, just as we did. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to the Listing Booster Users Group, you can see this. We landed people. Janine, she just landed people. Like we just listened. It was so great. And she's challenged three more people to make their business better. Yeah. So listing booster, guys, I'm telling you, it's going to help you in 2018. If you've had it before, you weren't using it right. Check out Listing Booster. Seriously, and go to the Listing Booster Users Group and watch people calling Facebook Live, right. real estate agents, and bettering their business. Click this banner right over there. Now, on to the show today, Frank. Let's do it, this Brian. This might be the craziest show we have ever done. I'm excited to read it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> So you guys have probably heard about Tesla's Gigafactory, which mm -hmm. is located outside of Reno, Nevada, of course, right? Yeah. Okay, you may not know or you may know that upon completion, the Gigafactory mm -hmm. is going to be the largest producer of these lithium ion batteries uh, in the world, right? Okay, we all know right. that. And it's also the biggest building by square footage in the history of mankind. Unreal. It is unreal. Yeah, and, and check it out. Upon completion, it's also going to be 100% powered by renewable energy, which That's is cool. pretty bitchin', right? Solar wind and geothermal, you name it, man. It'll be, it'll employ 6,700 folks. That's a lot of people. Right. Okay. Right. And it will single-handedly triple the world's output, like you said, of, what are they? Lithium batteries? Yeah, lithium-ion batteries. Lithium-ion batteries. So, to say this is an amazing feat Right. right. It's a new wonder of the world. And that would be an understatement to tell it, you the truth. It absolutely would. It's tripling the world's output. Now, get this. The property is located on what's known as the park. The park. And the total, and it's outside of Reno, Nevada, and the total landmass for the park, where the largest building in the world by square footage is located, they have 2,800 acres. Okay. 2,800 acres. This is Tesla. All right. You got that. Okay. Now, Google, this is interesting, they also purchased... 1,210 acres at the park. Really? Yeah. And last year, a company called, a giant data center, a company called Switch, they opened a 2,000 acre campus uh, out there at the park. Really? So, yeah. Okay, so who is, who is Switch, right? Okay. So, well, on their portion of the campus, they built a 25,000 square foot headquarters and, get this, the largest data center in the world. In the world. In the world. Right next to the biggest building in the world. Right. Oh, and they have plans to build seven more data centers on that campus. So they'll have eight data centers that any one individually dwarfs any data center in, in the, the world. world. Jeans, buy me a coat. Oh, snap, man. We're still saying the same thing. This is amazing. So between the three, that would be Tesla, Google, and Switch, they have 6,100 acres. Now, that is a lot of land. It's a lot of land. It's a ton. Mm -hmm. And this is outside of Reno, as we said, right. where the air is very dry year-round, no yeah. natural disasters, right. and pretty consistent weather. Okay, yeah. so it makes sense. That's good. And right. this is really great for Reno, okay? Right, sure. The outlook for the city, I'm sure, is super positive. Right. And get this. Thanks, Mike Richardson. Very quietly, the company called Blockchain LLC they just bought, listen to this, 67,000 acres. Okay. Jeez. All, basically, all the available land yes. around Tesla, Google, Switch, those guys, right? They bought it for 175 million bucks. Right. Now, Blockchain bought 10 times the land of all those other companies combined. It's kind of a funny side note here. Who's the luckiest person in the world? Huh. Well, it turns out his name is Lance Gilman. Lance. Now, first, he's the Story County Commissioner. That, okay. by the way, is a very good gig. All right. Okay. He's also a real estate broker, and ah. he facilitated the sale of the 67,000 acres 
to Blockchain LLC. Nice. There's a nice little commission on 167 million bucks. I would hope oh, so. Oh, by the way, he was also the broker for the sale to Tesla, to Google, and to Microsoft. Lance. And now Blockchain. Lance. Yeah, Lance. Like it, Lance. that's not <laughs> why he's the luckiest real estate agent or person alive right now. Why is he? Because he also owns the Mustang Ranch. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Lance's world famous brothel, formerly known as the Mustang Ranch. Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Mustang Ranch. America! <laughs> so this guy's the county commissioner, a multi-millionaire broker, right. I'd imagine, right? Yes. And a brothel owner. America! And that guy is diversified. I mean, how does that even happen? I don't know. <laughs> ah, man, I swear. <laughs> oh, man, America! America! <laughs> okay, okay, but back, back, back to blockchain. Okay. There we go. Okay, so what's up with Blockchain LLC? Yeah. Well, they cover Ethereum news, Frank. Huh? Okay, now, what's that? Yeah. Ethereum is an open source public blockchain-based distribution computing platform and operating system featuring smart contract, that would be scripting, Frank, uh -huh. functionality. Ether is a cryptocurrency whose blockchain is generated by the Ethereum platform. Boy, that sure straightens it out, doesn't it? Sure does. So what's all that for? Cryptocurrencies, basically, like Bitcoin. You know Bitcoin. And that's just for starters. So let's look at this. In Reno, Nevada, right. they have the largest building in the world. Yep. Okay. Manufacturing new technology batteries that run the world yes, at a do. clip of three times more than the rest of the world combined. Yes. Okay. You have Switch. Right. building the largest Large. data center in the world and plans for seven more that size, so you do the math yes. on all that. Yes. And now you have our next generation of not only how people will buy and sell goods, but how we'll keep receipt of who owes and owns and what to whom also is being built Right. Out in the deserts of the biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada, and all this is being facilitated by the guy who owns the gosh darn Mustang Ranch. You just gotta love this story. <laughs> gotta love this country. <laughs> so if you look around the parlor, you'll see a beautiful rose garden. That's for the ladies to dance on. Okay, so what's the moral to the story here? I'll tell you, Reno appears to be a recession-proof city. Yeah. They have got it going on in ways that are absolutely unbelievable. Mm. Think about it, the guy who built the biggest building in the world manufacturing more next generation batteries than anybody in the world at a, crypt, at a clip of three to one. Yeah. Who just built the biggest rocket ship in the world right. to launch one of his electric cars up into space yes. to go fly around Mars. Yeah. Is working with the guy who owns the Mustang Ranch. Yes. So that they can build the biggest plants <laughs> for batteries, for data storage, and money. Fascinating stuff. Cool. Well, I guess Reno is the, uh, what do they call it, the biggest little city in the world? Yeah, well, it's just called the biggest city in the world. It's going to get big. They're making a big splash. Yeah. Pretty neat stuff. Let us know your thoughts on today's show. Leave your comments down below. You guys have a great day. We'll catch you later here at the National Real Estate Post. And don't miss out. Go and get you some Listing Booster right away. Check out those live uh, those live shows. They were great. Yeah. Hey, Listing Booster Users Group. Yep. Facebook. See ya. Later, guys.